Dwayne Ross from Servants United with daily devotions from Christ in our home. For Saturday, February 10th, our scripture is from the fourth chapter of 2 Corinthians, verses 3 through 6. And even if our gospel is veiled, it is veiled to those who are perishing. In their case, the God of this world has blinded the minds of the unbelievers to keep them from seeing the light of the gospel of the glory of Christ, who is the image of God. For we do not proclaim ourselves, we proclaim Jesus Christ as Lord and ourselves as your slaves for Jesus' sake. For it is the God who said, let, shine out of, let light shine out of darkness who has shone in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. Leaning on the promises, for we do not proclaim ourselves, we proclaim Jesus Christ. The Apostle Paul preached frequently about pointing our lives toward God's glory. Who do you know who reflects the glory of God? Such people are very special. I found myself asking the question when I faced a sudden illness. After years of walking with others who were facing illness and mortality, I found out how scared I was for my own well-being. To still my fears, I reached out to a friend of deep faith. How did I know she would reflect God's glory? I had witnessed her facing major changes in her life, including health scares, divorce, and deaths. I saw how resilient and spirit-filled she was as she navigated some really hard times. I called my friend and she shared a simple but profound lesson about getting through hard times. Focus on the steadiness of God's promise rather than, sim than simply being overwhelmed by your own ups and downs. Remember God's promise that Paul announced. God shines in times of darkness, lighting our way in faith. Our prayer. Empowering God, may we lean on your promises for our core strength. Amen. Please join me in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen.